Baba, City Moon, we are moi. Guys, we're puppy sitting. We're puppy sitting. This is Crosby. This here. is Crosby. He's he is so a, a shit poop. He is a. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's oh, how you say it, but you have to, have to put. I know it's not that. That's that's not the that's best. What he is. But he's a shit too and a poodle mix. But he looks like a he's panda. So and he's so cute he's and he has his cute. own little personality. Yes, but okay. we're not here about him. We're no, here we're about not. The Lion King. We are here about the Lion. This King. is our first movie review. First movie review. And it's for the Lion King. We saw it three weeks ago. Yes, we did. But he was also gone. So. Yes. So oh, for the, those of you who might be just be tuning in who have never seen this oh yeah, uh, or us. The, yeah, we're the booze. This we are booze. The booze cruise channel. <laughs> yes, booze cruise. Booze cruise because we travel. We yes. cruise the uh, on land, sea, and air, not because we are alcoholics. Um, right. A lot People of times there's a distinction. And booze because... Where's all the liquor? Like, no, nope. because we're booze. Yeah. <laughs> and booze because <laughs> we're booze. We are right. uh, engaged. And uh, because our viewers, we are our booze. Um, so, moving forward. Lion King. Lion King. Lion King. Uh, starring Beyonce. Donald. <laughs> starring Donald Glover. <laughs> Beyonce. Uh, Seth Rogen. Um, Seth Rogen. Billy Eichner. Um, Citripua. You know him, Scar. I'm not, yeah. Um, <laughs> Scar. Yeah. But first, I guess we'll um, what, get out, get the positives out. Yeah, let's get the positives. Positives. Beautiful. beautiful movie. It's gorgeous. Beautiful gowns. <laughs> beautiful. It's gorgeous. Gowns. Every no, like everything was apparently like and like CGI. CG every everything, every little piece every bit of, of grass, it. every little blade of like grass and flowers, everything in hair was CGI. It's incredible. But like, it looks so great. You would think like I, like you just look at these sweeping landscapes and you think okay, they must have CGI'd these animals onto a Serengeti in Africa, but every Everything bit was, of it was so so kudos. It was yeah. gorgeous. It Claps was around formation. Um, another positive. Ah, uh, positive for me. Run away with the movie. Scene stealing is Timon and, Timon Pumbaa. and Pumbaa. Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen. They have some great chemistry. Some great one-liners. They deserve. Their it's, own, it was like, so funny. buddy spinoff. It was so, yeah, we, we walked out, we were like, they need their own movie. Absolutely. Like, they're so good. I mean, one of the, like, I think it's one of the, I don't want to say few, keeping it positive. I think it is one of the definite instances when they have elevated the previous movie and taken it to something unique and added to it as opposed to just regurgitating what we've yeah. already seen. Like, it was, they breathe new life they into breathe those new life characters. Into the, yeah, they do. But, unfortunately, the movie is, I think, I say unfortunately, because Are we going it to is no longer a it? shot for shot. No, I'm not, right. I'm not saying it's negative, but it's a shot for shot remake right. of the animated film, so mm -hmm. it kind mm -hmm. of, um, since it is shot for shot, you kind of have to compare it. Right. It's hard not to. to. It's hard not to. But, but, because it is shot for shot, meaning that you see a lot of the exact same imagery that you saw in the original film. I think it does play on our emotional recall and our heartstrings because we, our age group, vividly remember as children with like bowls of cereal in our underwear watching these, you know, mm -hmm. this movie. And so for us, it's like this emotional recall that hooks you in because you're like, oh, I remember this. Nostalgia plays a lot into. For sure. I think that's what is like playing a lot into the box office because people are going for because sure. it's The Lion King. So it's like everyone wants to see it. Because everyone. Who, who didn't love The Lion King? Uh, I'm sure there are people, um, but I don't agree with their assessment. <laughs> How could you not? Um, all other positives. I love loved the scar. Oh, oh, scar. Scar was great and Baby Simba. Oh my gosh, Baby Simba, his the, little voice. I don't know the child's name, the actor who Oh my him. goodness. The next one, we'll, we'll, we'll like write down all these things. This is our first <laughs> Yeah, this is our first one. You know how we do, boo. You know how <laughs> we do. It out. You get what you get. You can Google. You can Google. We all, we all <laughs> hold a computer in our hand. You know who we're talking about. His little voice is good. And dare I say, I think I like his, vo his voice voicing the character better. Now that might be because he was actually an actor of color. It might be because he just had more expression in his voice. I don't know. 
But I like He sounded that. like a little kid, he for sure. He sounded like a little boy. And he sounded like an overzealous, just eager child. And it, it was great. I, I liked him more than I liked Adolph Simber, sadly. Me too. <laughs> Although I love, we'll get into that in a second. Although um, I do love Donald Glover. You are a genius. I love you. Donald Glover's but, great. But hey, Maybe we're going to call a spade a spade. One thing we do is call a spade a spade. Don't think we're going to, even though I am an actor and uh, mm -hmm. I want to work with all of you extensively. But uh, I'm more positive. More positive. Oh, okay. I have more positive. You do? I love Scar. Oh, Scar was great. He was fantastic. I like his Be Prepared except... No, Be Prepared was it? It was only like a snippet. <sighs> well, that's a positive negative. It's a snippet of it. It's like, it's about to start positive. into Be Prepared and, and here then, you go and then no. And no, you're no, on to it. Now, it. it's funny. I was talking to someone away. about this recently and they were saying that um, they actually liked that they didn't extend Be Prepared too much because as a child they got a little bored with all of the hyena stuff and everything. I disagree. What child got bored? I disagree, but uh, for those of you who were not the biggest wow. Be Prepared, I thought it was great. I think Scar is an amazing villain, Disney villains. He I love great. them. He, yeah, he, his voice acting is oh, amazing. so and good. Benjamin Benjafor? I don't know his name. Mr. Tufali. <laughs> We've offended he's everyone. He's from 12 not, Years a Slave. We're not going and to. He's, just, in, uh, he's in a lot of movies. He's genius. He's awesome. But his scar is amazing. Amazing. Oh, I also, I will say, I really liked the, um, I liked the musicality of the score in that they really brought out, I think, even more. They amped up African sounds to me. It's like they did the original score, but they actually, a few more, like I heard like even like, clicking and things like that, that they added in, I think, a lot more um, uh, essence and just a lot more texture into some of the the uh, score, which I liked, especially because, you know, we took it out of like a cartoony kind of thing and we made it more of, closer to almost like the Broadway score and that they added more instrumentation, which I liked that. Also, some people might not. Because he liked it. More positive to me. <laughs> well, I also like I also like I liked Beyonce's vo vocals. Her vocals. Oh, her and vocals. Can you feel the love tonight? Her vocals. Yeah. She sang I it. I like her voice. I mean, she sang it. She sang it. We know she can sing. That's why you you, you don't hire Beyonce sing. not to sing. But I don't think she did bad voice voice wise either. Like her voice acting, I think she came and did what she was supposed to do. I think. Which was really Nala was from Houston. <laughs> she was from she Houston. Like, I mean, All right, let's go to the. Well, first Not of all, I do want to say I liked Lion King a lot. Liked it. I like, but I didn't Absolutely. love it. Right. We'll and, do a wrap up. And I though. wanted to love it. Well, I wanted to love um, it. I went in expecting to love we're it. We're going into, I guess, the more ne ne negative. not so positive right. things. We're not negative. negative. It's fine to say. If it's not positive, it's <laughs> negative. But Isn't it? Am I not right? The fact that the that it looks so realistic and uh, that it is supposed to be live action and they went with a real, very real approach um, that kind of takes away from like expressions and it takes away from like emotion mm -hmm. <laughs> like mm -hmm. like when Simba's father spoiler alert Mufasa dies um, if, you you seen it. if you haven't seen this or you know or it's the Shakespearean weeks, play in which it is see, based off right. of then I can't I'm but sorry Mufasa dies so yeah. when, when Mufasa dies Simba is crying and you can, you can hear it in his voice he's all em emotional yeah. but on his face he just looks like listen, a cat. Oh, uh, listen. Uh, Not a showing sad any... lion <laughs> looks like the same lion. as a happy lion who looks like right. the same as an excited lion. There is a realism that is there that is both uh, impressive and also a letdown because you don't get half of the 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 magic of that animation and what it did to you as a kid was seeing the facial expressions, like Simba, that kind of devilish grin, or Scar looking so like sarcastic and over. Oh, right. You know, but it kind of worked out in Scar's defense since he's so like kind of sarcastic and expressionless. It right. works for him, but Simba It's and, a baby. Like, like you wanna see a wanna baby see, be excited. You know, it, it takes you like it just seems like they're mm. just yeah. flat. And, and it's just, you don't feel it. You don't feel the emotion. And because it's also so serious, the, um, the, or uh, so realistic, the fantastic nature musical that you can do in musical performances were not. They're just kind of just walking around singing where, like, I want to be a mighty king. Like, they're and having the all the animals man. making pyramids and they're doing yeah. things. And they can't do that because they're going for a real approach. So they're just walking along singing. Yeah. Um, Which, I, I mean, again, now, I think children... Who have never seen the the animation have nothing to compare it to, and so for them they're probably not missing. 
Also, another positive thing that goes along with it, which is positive negative, is I think that a lot of kids would have no idea what these animals look like in real life. I think if you ask a kid to point out, what is you know, Timon? He is a meerkat. meerkat. If you ask a kid to point out a meerkat, they would have no idea. It, like Timon, the animation doesn't exactly look exactly like a meerkat. So it was kind of cool to see how they made these. And they made them like, the actually meerkat. do what the animals like do. Like naturally, meerkats do. don't really stand like on two feet for long. No, so he would always go back on all fours and yeah. things like that. So it was very, it was very real. They went for a very real approach, but it right. was too real. And it, there <laughs> and was it some lost in just, translation. Yeah, like I get what they're trying to do, but I also don't think they should have tried to make it a, a shot for shot remake at the same time because it. You're gonna have to compare it to that. You have to and, compare it now. And like they needed to add, we saw um, Aladdin. Aladdin and everything like that. They added they different elements elevated to it, and it, it made it it made it better. And I think right. they could have had like more of a a Scar backstory or something like why is Scar right. why so, is Scar so, so upset? Why how did he get the scar? Right, like, we don't know. This any was of that. their chance to kind explain of explain things. some things and take it out of just make it more of a feature film. Right. They could have branched you know? they could have they could have taken the camera lens and opened it up and yeah, the, there's so many characters that they had this know. opportunity to. They could and have they, but they didn't they have did. to go shot for shot. They mm -hmm. they had they could have taken liberties and I think they played it too safe. They did. And, and but I I just didn't love it as much as I wanted to love it. I loved Aladdin. We loved Aladdin. Loved Aladdin. And they changed the story a bit, and they um, and they just they elevated, they elevated, it, they for added sure. new music and stuff. And they added Beauty and the Beast. They the elevated it. They added the Beyonce song. In the line <laughs> yes, thing. yes. It was um, very brief. And it was very like brief. That. It kind of didn't do anything <laughs> to the. Yeah. Didn't. I I I mean I think it could have played during the credits. Honestly, yeah, I don't could've. think it needed to be in the movie. But I also understand that you have Beyonce, so right. you gotta. I'm sure that was in her contract right. somewhere, Bay. <laughs> but. Is it worth seeing? Absolutely. For sure. It's, Absolutely. It's a great movie just to visually see on screen. Like, you should see this it. This is like beautiful. Um, but other people, like, it's been getting mixed. Some people love it. I would say mixed people to hate it, Which I'm like, I don't get how people would hate it. You hate you it? You hate it. Like, because it's like what, what they did is not hateful. <laughs> I'm not sure that I like it. Like, I also love like, like as a, you know, as an artist, as a singer, as a whatever, as a in that realm, I love that children are being reintroduced to these new scores. Not just for Lion King, but all of them. Like, you know, uh, the kids are running out of the theater singing Beauty and the Beast. Um, you're going to birthday parties, and Jasmine is right. there, which she's never been there really because that's not you know. But the movies are it's reintroducing, reintroducing them to this different music. versions of these characters right. and and this music. It is now, great music. But right. does the, did in my opinion did this version? need to be made? Did we have to have this version in no. our lives? No. Oh, I, I don't need to see it again. And that's, no. what, that's what upset me when I walked out. I'm like, I don't ever need to see this movie right. again cause because we have, we have a better it. version right. on video. That's exactly what I was going to say. We have it and we have a better version. Yeah. And it's so, like, if they weren't going to add anything new, then why do it at all? You know? Because right. it's still an animated film even because it's everything CGI. It's not like it's right. real animals. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. So it's still no. an animated film. So there, it's a remake of a re. It's a remake yeah, of an animated film. Yeah, it's not even like a live. It's not like animated. a. It's not like a Milo and Otis. No. I don't no. Know if <laughs> or like <laughs> Homeward Bound. Okay, but, um, but it's not that. But if you haven't seen it yet, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone has. It's made almost 1.5 billion dollars. Right, but so. also <laughs> things to bring up too, because uh, we will get into and talk things about you know because we do watch, especially now like Jarrell. I will not pretend that I am as amazing in my movie knowledge as Jarrell is. He is the master. But um, we watch I'm our you know. Since I was two. Well, we all. I would say that <laughs> we're both even in like probably the amount of content we've seen. But like his YouTube video like that he watches uh, on like um, I'm, I'm obsessed with movies and I right. just like to watch things about film anything but it's also like I mean things like having to do with like gross uh, grosses, grosses and how much money, money things are making yeah. and how they're doing other places like yes, I've yes. started watching that uh, those things too and it's interesting because things I didn't know for instance maybe you didn't know but um Lion King was not released in uh, China no not not right away yeah not right away so to them to many people in China, this is their first version mm -hmm. of it. So it's going to do really well over there because they've never even seen mm -hmm. Lion King. You know, so things like that. We'll try to get into um, grosses and how they're doing and things like that. But we just wanted to give you a first movie review. Yeah. Um, maybe we should have like a, a think. Oh, what like do you a, give it like out of, um, I guess, do, should we do a, should like, we do like a thumbs ABC upside down? Or we can, do, ABC. we can do ABC or we can just rank it from 1 to 10. Or oh, ABC. Like one to five. Oh, I think ABC is probably better. 
A B C D F. A B C D F. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, all right. All right. I'm gonna give this. Oh, you go first. I'm, I give Lion King a B minus. Oh, okay. B minus. Yeah, because I was gonna I mean, give it, it a, just took, it, it, a C. No, you go. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I think it was a good movie. Like I would, I, I would not say it's a bad movie. I think it's a, a movie that needs to be seen. I don't need to see it again. But I'm not gonna say it was a horrible movie. Um, but it, it's just little things that I didn't like and no, no emotion. Right. I need emotion. <laughs> so I give it a B minus. I was gonna give it a solid B. Uh, not a B minus. I was thinking B to a B plus. Um, I think it's a B. I think that it is beautiful. I think it's an amazing uh, uh, indication of what we can do with CGI. I think that the orchestrations and the music was handled expertly. And I think that it made me fall in love with Billy Eichner and Seth Rogen and some of these characters all over again. And I think, yeah, not an A, not an A plus, but I would say it's a solid B. I would say go take, a, go take your it. kids. No, go see it. Go see it regardless and come up with your own conclusion. <laughs> yeah, and but, let us know down below yeah. what you think. Did you love it? Uh, would you see it more than once? No need to buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. On, I'm not gonna buy it. Nobody on. buys Blu-rays or anything anymore. We just anymore. bought. You what did we just Hocus buy? Pocus. That was Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus on is DVD. A holiday <laughs> masterpiece. It's another Disney film that we love. Oh, it's and almost Hocus Pocus. The Nightmare on Elm Street collection. collection. That was a collection, and that was because you so, someone stole your old one. We were replacing. Find you. We were replacing. It's a collector's item. Anyway, but, yeah. we love you. <laughs> we love you. Make Thank sure. Yes, I know. See. Tell us if you love these. We see movies all the time. Tell us what you want us to review that's coming up. Things that we are definitely wanting to see. Um, it is going to be coming up. Um, let us know if you want us to discuss Midsommar. If oh you've gosh. seen Midsommar. Because <laughs> that, that is a that is a uh, controversial one. Um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, that's a controversial we one. Have we, have to, we haven't no, seen no, it, but we have to see it. Too. Quentin Tarantino. Um, yeah, so don't forget to follow us. It's at Booze Cruise. That's at B O S C R C R U I Z, because you're worth it, E. Um, that's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And also make sure you follow our uh, Facebook uh, group, which is at Booze Cruise Booze. That's Booze Cruise B O O S. Um, and, and like this video and yeah. if you like it, if you like these and new people, if you're tuning in, For like sure. it. This is us. This is who we are. Hi, I'm you David. I'm Drew. Why or do the sound like this? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> we love you. We have to go watch the dog. Make yeah, sure we do. Attention, because he probably feels like they're he's like, "Why are they talking and not to me?" <laughs> um, we love you. Bye, guys. Bye, you guys. <laughs>